everybody, Bishop Wooden here. Man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, and I know you are excited. Now, one of the things I'm excited about is what happened uh, in the legislature. What our governor did the other day, he protected little girls. He protected little boys. He protected women. He protected men. He protected teenagers. He protected us by uh, the governor signs into law, a law that uh, protected normal people. Now the headlines read, uh, North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory signs into law a, a bill restricting LGBT protections. You know what? The media just certainly doesn't get it and they don't give up. They won't even accurately report a story. This this is by uh, a Steve Harrison. I guess Steve is for the uh, for the uh, homosexual uh, uh, Homo, he's, he's pro-homosexual. Headlines, North Carolina Governor Pat McCurry signs bill into law restricting LGBT protections. The, the bill that was signed into, into law does not restrict LGBT protections. The bill is a common sense bill. We all know that this garbage about a person self-identifying, uh, being who they are, they self-identify, so you are who you self-identify as, that makes no sense. Uh, all day long when you're watching this, I can self-identify all I want to and say I'm a white guy. But does that change the fact that I'm a black man? You know that, my friends. And uh, they're saying that men who are biologically born male but self-identify as female ought to be able to use the, the women's uh, restroom. It's nonsense. It's crazy. And Charlotte City Council was crazy. They did the wrong thing. And thank God uh, that Governor McCrory and uh, the, the Republicans and 11 Democrats uh, went against this and there's protection for the rest of us in this state. Also, I'm excited about tonight. Now listen, uh, Saul Alinsky said this, true revolutionaries do not flaunt their radicalism. They cut their hair, put on suits, and infiltrate the systems from within. Well, the Bible says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and uh, uh, verse thir 13 through 14, it says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. Therefore is it no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Other words, the devil shaved the horns off, if you will, got rid of the tail, threw away the pitchfork, and put on a suit, and in many cases, a turn back collar. He got elected to a political office, and he's written books, and he stands in pulpits, and he has a job in uh, uh, Christian universities, these liberal uh, uh, the the theological seminaries, and, and, and the Satan has infiltrated. But my friends, I'm glad that the word of God is right. I'm glad that God's truth still shines forth. Uh, Alice uh, uh, Bailey, we've been talking about her, she said this. She said, use the media to promote and change mindset. She said, uh, to foster groupthink and normalize deviant behavior and encourage pleasure over social norms. Well, we see these things going on in the world today, and my friends, I'm talking about it. We're, we're coming at, at this from a thus saith the Lord perspective. This is the work of God. These are exciting times, and I'm telling you, we're pushing back against the devil. Join me tonight. We're going to study the Bible, and I'll tell you something. Cut your hair, Satan. Shave your beard. Dress up. Do whatever you want. You can disguise yourself as a nun, a priest, a bishop, a superintendent. You can describe yourself as an athlete, a congressman, a president, or whatever, or a candidate running for the office. The God of the Bible has given his people discernment. 
and we will not be deceived. I thank God that the Lord gives us eyes to see and ears to hear. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. I'll see you tonight. We're going to study the Bible. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Talk to you later.